Okay guys, um, today is going to be a very short little tutorial, and I'm sorry about the light, it will be fixed next time I make a tutorial for part 2 in the morning, because it's 11.02 at night right now. Today, of course, as you saw in the title, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an air horn for maybe free, or, well, it's from household items, or if you don't have them, you spend maybe it, maybe $4.00. And this air horn will last forever, and you'll never, and it will rarely have problems. And I've had the one I'm about to show you for about six months, not no problem. And it is very, very, very loud. It's louder. It's as loud as a fog horn. It's you know the big air horns. It's as loud as those. It's a little bit louder even, and it hurts your ears because of the psi. It's like 110 psi. So this is how bad it, uh, if you put an air in it put an air tube up to it, it would be loud as crap and it would probably blow your ear out. Anyway, so this is my air horn. It looks ghetto, doesn't it? This is a ghetto tutorial. No offense against people in the ghetto, you're awesome. Anyway, very interesting little... It made for... this thing I got and I found it just laying on the street and I washed it but so let's sit in soap and water for an hour and a half. I'm sorry, for a day and a half. Got it out, put it in the dishwasher, cleaned it again, and it now it's sterilized and stuff with alcohol in it and put put it through another rinse. And it is now clean as it gets. And then here's the other items you're gonna need. A balloon, helium type of balloon, is very, very good for this because they're strong and they really are really loud. A straw from McDonald's, a knife, and the bottle, of course. So step one, you're going to want to take the cap off of the bottle. Easy enough. Step two, take the knife and make make a little circular hole in the bottom of it, of the of the uh, in the bottom of your uh, air newly found bottle air air horn. Step three. Make sure it's tight in between it, otherwise this will not work, because I have two of these. I'm not going to demonstrate both tonight, because they're both kind of loud. The first one was really bad, really, really bad. This one's, this one's necessary. So, this bottle is the one that works. Anyway, so you put a straw in there and make sure it's tight. And then when you breathe your balloon, put that overward. Don't put the bottom blowing, blowing end over, put the big part over it, stretch it over so it looks tight, and put the rubber bands over it, and then cut a hole in the side, small enough to blow over, and you get this. Sorry, give me a second, you have to have your straw in perfect position or it won't work. Hold on. Just give me a second, I just need to find out. Barely blue on that. And that's what you get. I in the morning I'll make a part two and I'll blow the thing as hard as I can in the morning and it'll be very loud. So have a nice day.